Twelve of Vlogmas. Lola's in my video this morning. Say hi. Hi. We're on our way to a vegan coffee shop in the hope that we can find a hot chocolate that Lola yeah. can have. Lola's happy because we've got vegan hot chocolate. Um, Lola and I are back from our little walk this morning, so I went to another small business that's near us to see if I could find um, a gift for my secret centre for work. And then also it's a vegan cafe, so Lola's been desperate to try out their hot chocolate because every time we go to a cafe, um, she can't have the hot chocolate, but Ruby can, because um, Lola's got a dairy allergy, but Ruby hasn't. Um, so the verdict was that she really enjoyed the hot chocolate, which is great, so it means we found a local cafe that does regular hot chocolate but also vegan hot chocolate so both Ruby and Lola can both have a hot chocolate together uh, which is great. So I'm in the kitchen, you can just see behind me the hob um, and my mixer. I'm just about to start preparing lunch because we've got my in-laws coming around so I'm just going to do a cottage pie. Um, Lola and I are both vegetarian, um, Lola by choice, obviously me by choice too. Um, I do offer her meat when she wants it but she prefers to go with vegetarian so I'm going to do one vegetarian cottage pie and then I'm going to do a mince cottage pie for Ruby and also my husband and then my in-laws they will eat the mince cottage pie um, so that's what I'm about to do. So I've got all of the things in front of me, I'll see if I can flip the camera around. Um, I just use a BBC Good Food recipe and I'll link it in the description below if anyone's interested um, and I'll also um, film a little snippet of the cottage pie when it's cooked as well. So with lunch cooking, I'm just waiting for the potatoes to boil so that I can make the mash and then uh, pop the mash topping on top of the cottage pie filling and then pop it in the oven. I've snuck off to my sewing area and I'm going to do a little bit of sewing. Um, I've probably got about half an hour so I've got my nutcracker dress that I need to hem and then I've got my um, Sirocco jumpsuit which I need to hem and then I've also got um, the little um, tangerine trousers that I need to hem. So hopefully half an hour will be enough time to hem all of those things. Just off to get my in-laws um, from the house. Our dinner's just in the oven, so hopefully it'll be ready soon, but I thought I'd let you know what I'm wearing. Um, it's a Tilling the Buttons Billy dress in this gorgeous uh, cotton jersey fabric. So it's now the evening, I've just dropped my in-laws off um, at home after a lovely afternoon. We enjoyed our cottage pie um, and then we sat down and we watched um, Little Women, which I love that film. I went to see it at the cinema when it came out with some friends. Um, and then my husband went off to have his um, booster jab um, and on his way back home he picked up some pudding, which was lovely. Um, and I'm just about to go and watch Strictly, so I'm really excited about that. And then a little bit later on, I'm going to be watching the final of I'm a Celebrity, which I absolutely love as well. Um, I don't watch a huge amount of TV, but those two programmes I love watching. Um, I did manage to get a little bit of sewing done in between cooking and hosting today, which I was really pleased about. So I've sewn up um, my Christmas jumper, which I'll share in a second. But I managed to finish off hemming the um, Dear and Joe Sirocco jumpsuit, might be inside out actually because I wore it to get photos, um, using this tie-dye fabric that I got from So Hilly Jane outlet shop. Um, so I used the Dear and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit pattern and I've sewn it up 
Um, so it's a faux wrap bodice. You can just see there the faux wrap and it's got like a band all the way down and around the neck band. Uh, it's got short sleeves and then it's got the most lovely deep pockets, which I love. There's like pleats at the front and then there's darts in the back. Yeah, there's darts in the back. I was just thinking, are they? You can't really see them because of the tie dye fabric. And then, um, yeah, they are inside out. Slightly tapered leg, ever so slightly. Um, that was completely finished. I just needed to hem the sleeves and hem the trouser legs. So I managed to get that done this afternoon. Um, I had some um, Poppy and Jazz tangerine trousers that I just needed to hem. So I managed to do that as well. And then I also had my, oh, I'll put a picture in of me wearing this so you can see what it looks like. But I have shared over on Instagram. And then I had my Nutcracker party dress to hem. So I finished hemming the skirt and then I've hemmed the sleeves as well. And then I just, I did decide in the end actually to um, top stitch the neckband. Um, and I'm going to wear this nutcracker dress let me hold it up so you can see the fabric this amazing cotton jersey fabric it's got nutcracker print all over it, it was from hey so sister if they've got any left i'll pop it in the um, description down below so you can go and check it out but this is going to be my party dress we've got our christmas party with the children on tuesday so i'm going to wear this to school on tuesday for the christmas party day i'm really looking forward to wearing that um, and i'm sure the children will be really excited for the christmas party too we've got father christmas coming um, which will be a, a highlight for lots of them, I'm sure. So I look forward to wearing that. And then I managed to get my um, Christmas jumper sewn up. So it was the official Christmas jumper day, I think, on Friday. But as a school, we are having our Christmas jumper day on Monday. So that's tomorrow. So I've shared this uh, cotton jersey fabric before. Gosh, I can't remember where I got it from. Um, I'll link it down below for where I got it from. It's completely escaped me. I want... it's, it's a cotton jersey on like a navy background and it's got dinosaurs all over it and Christmas presents and baubles and poncettas and the dinosaurs are wearing Christmas jumpers, which I just think is such a fun print. So I have used the Nina Lee Southbank sweater pattern. So it's got this gorgeous, almost like a funnel neck, uh, sort of neck band, which will go sort of here. And then it's got cuff detail here and then I always add the hem band onto the bottom so I always cut the sweater version which is version three which is slightly cropped and then I always add the hem band on because I just like that finish on a jumper I haven't actually got pictures of me wearing this yet but I'll get pictures tomorrow maybe um, when I get changed in the morning I still can't decide what to wear it with I'm either going to wear it with, I've got a Nina Lee Camden skirt, which is in like a navy corduroy, so I might wear it with that, or I've got some um, corduroy, chunky corduroy, baby pink, um, Anna Allen pomono pants, so I could wear this with that, I'm not 100% sure yet, so when I get dressed in the morning, I'm sure I'll decide which one I want to wear with it, but I'm really pleased that I've managed to get my Christmas jumper finished, and I'm looking forward to wearing that to school as well. And then on Wednesday, we've got Christmas dinner at school. So I need to think about, or Christmas lunch, should I say. So I need to think about which outfit I'll wear. I want to try and wear something Christmassy every day this week. Um, I've got a reindeer dress um, in a cotton jersey, which is a similar style to the Nutcracker dress. Again, I've got pictures of me wearing the Nutcracker dress today, so I'll pop that in for you. But I've got a similar style dress that's got reindeer all over it. So I might wear that for Christmas lunch on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I've got some more Christmas jumpers that I could wear, or I've got a red Christmas, um, sort of, it's kind of like Christmas fabric, or I've got my my Asotis dresses that I've made using cotton poplin that I got from Abercorn, so I might wear those. Who knows what I'm going to end up deciding to wear. Um, so that's what I've been sewing, and I'm really pleased that I managed to get this sewn up, because I wasn't sure if I'd have enough time today because I knew that we were hosting for lunch, but I did manage to get enough time to sew that up. So I've got my advent calendar here, so I thought I'd open day 12, and I showed you yesterday, day 12 is here. So I'll just get that opened. Let's see what labels we've got behind that door. Oh, I like these labels. It, they're lilac and it says, dream it, make it. And then there's little stars and a little moon on there too. So three lovely labels. Um, I actually used the Kylie in the Machine label for my Christmas jumper. I used the neon pink one that says make on it. So I'm really pleased that I've started to use those labels. Um, I shared a snippet of what I'm wearing when I was in the um, lift, because there was a good mirror in the lift. But it's a Tilly in the Buttons Billy. Um, you can either make a sweater or you can make a sweater dress. And this is a sweater dress. 
I love the sleeves gathered into this really deep cuff. I mean, if I stand up, you can see, or you probably can't see actually, I've just got it on with black tights and ankle boots, and then it stops just at my knee, and it's got this hem band that goes all the way around. Super comfortable, um, really lovely to wear, and really snuggly and cosy as well, although it's not as cold today as it was yesterday. Um, I usually film and release on a Sunday my Sunday sewing catch-up videos um, and I did manage to film one last weekend and release it on the same day as my Vlogmas video but I just haven't had a chance to film that video today so I'm afraid there won't be a Sunday sewing catch-up video this weekend but I'll make up for it next weekend um, but I have been able to film day 12's Vlogmas so I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different things that I got up to today. Before I go I thought I'd share with you what I'm planning to put out for the children tomorrow because it's quite a nice activity. So I ordered some paper bags, they're just red and white striped paper bags. Um, I got these just on Etsy, if they've still got them in stock I'll link them down below for you but I've got enough for all of the reception classes. And then I went shopping today, um, this morning, and I found some of these reindeer stickers. I thought they were super cute, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And we're planning to put out in our tough tray for the children as an activity this week. Um, come and make some reindeer food for the reindeers so they can sprinkle it if they want to, or just put it out in a little dish if they want to, um, for Father Christmas to take away and feed the reindeers with. So we're just planning to use oats this year, so it's biodegradable, and then we've also got some biodegradable glitter that they can sprinkle a little bit into the reindeer food. They can bag it up, have a go at writing reindeer food on the front of the bag, and then they can take that home with a little sticker on the front as well if they want to. Um, they don't have to make it, but I'm going to put it out just as a little sort of Santa's workshop little activity for them to do and then we've also got some pretend presents they can have a go at wrapping up some presents as well if they want to at school i love the final week in the run-up to christmas because the children are always really excited we've always got really exciting lovely activities for them and you know we've got things like christmas lunch and we've got parties um christmas jumper day and they're just going to be super excited um, we'll do lots and lots of Christmas singing and read lots and lots of lovely Christmas stories too. So it always gets me in the festive mood. So I've got five more days left of school and then it's the Christmas holidays and I'm really excited about having some dedicated sewing time. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, now just to say also, I'm not sure if I can bring day 13's Vlogmas tomorrow or day 14 because my eldest daughter's in, um, she's taking part in a couple of concerts at school. So tomorrow she's got a music concert, so she's going to be playing keyboard, and I can't wait to see her in that. And then on Tuesday she's taking part in a Christmas play, so she's um, acting out part of a, a, a play with some of her friends. And again, I'm really excited about seeing her perform in that show as well. Um, for both of the shows, she's actually decided for her costumes um, to wear something that I've made for her, which just... It's so lovely, it makes me feel really happy that she feels confident enough to wear things that I've made for her. So tomorrow she's gonna to be wearing the suit that I made for her. And then on Tuesday, she's actually borrowing my Yanta overalls and I've just adjusted the straps for her. And then she's got a rainbow t-shirt that she's gonna wear as well. So I'm really excited about seeing her in those performances. So I might not get chance to film day 13 and 14's Vlogmas um, and edit them in time to publish them. So there may be a gap after this video, which I apologize for, but then on day 15, you should have a bumper um, Vlogmas video where I can talk about all those different things that I've got going on. Thank you as always for coming back and watching my videos. I really do appreciate your support. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, it'd be amazing if you could hit that subscribe button and I'll be back really soon with another video. Take care, bye.